Let me just do just quick. This is an anime podcast in the works. Title pending. <laughs> yep. Okay. So, <laughs> what's up, everyone? This is anime anime podcast title. <laughs> un- title untitled. <laughs> this is a pilot season. Whatever. I'm your host, David. We next to me we have Shredden. Hello, future viewers. <laughs> we also have Brian with us. Yeah, boy. All right, so this is going to be the first episode of just a pilot season we're trying out. It's going to go perfect. (laughs) Yes, of course. (laughs) It's already. (laughs) So the format of the show, we're going to try to do like a weekly episode summary slash discussion of what we just watched during the past week. This is fall 2019. I must say week one, even though technically I would say it's her last week because we already have two episodes of some season starting. But I'm just going to say this is week one for our podcast. Uh, so let's get started with My Hero Academia. Uh, we don't really have to talk, talk much about this because it was basically just a recap. So mainly, um, let me see. I mean, I think Hero Academia actually does like the best work with recap episodes. They actually make out a, like, a story out of like which, which uh, they could easily just show us just um videos or images of something of of the previous seasons but they actually like work on a story yeah yeah so it didn't really nothing really i mean yeah it was a good episode but nothing really happened so i really just want to like think what do you think's gonna uh happen for the upcoming season because they did show previews at the end with the 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 little girl he's for league of villains yeah as well well they they showed a lot of the little girl in the, the opening too uh, I mean, the girl. I would. I would have no. I. I don't really know like what she is. I would say, uh, if anything, I kind of relate her to the. Oh shoot! The little kid that Deku saved that also had horns. They look in a way similar. Wait, wait. What about the kid? Yeah, yeah. The the kid with the horns that he saved against the the muscle guy. I, I don't know if he had horns or not, but. Bro, he had that, or was it just his hat? I think it was his hat. All right, <laughs> pass. Okay. <laughs> Oh, um. So, I heard. I heard too that uh, the upcoming arc is going to be really good. So that's exciting. Yeah, everybody that reads the manga. <laughs> bunch of bunch losers. of ruiners. Yeah, that too. Ruiners. All right. One thing I want to um, I kind of want to ask you guys. Uh, so because I think it's going to be a lot of comparisons between uh, like when people are discussing like what the best show this year, they're going to be talking about like Demon Slayer and Hero Academia, but. It's kind of unfair to compare them because Demon Slayer had two seasons, and here Academia is uh, go on to the winter season as well. So, but do you think that Hero Academia is gonna be better than Demon Slayer or or not? Oh, Wait, man, are we talking like show, like in general, or just person? Like, just like comparing, like just comparing the last this what we just saw from Demon Slayer, and then comparing this upcoming season in Hero Academia. Like, do you think people will say that like? Like Hero Academia was better, or a Demon Slayer was better. Like you mean, just like it's like, is it better as like just a shonen show? Just like you know, like, like the story, or like there are we animation, or just in general, like because there gotta be there's gotta be comp- when people okay. look back at 2019 right. in general, yeah. they're gonna be. I think I think there's gonna be comparisons. Yeah, Brian, you can go for go for. Uh, personally, I would just already rank Hero Academy up there, just because it, it's just what? vast roster of its characters and stuff you think it has like kind of like an unfair advantage because it already has like three seasons that aired compared to like demon oh, slayer we just got started probably but demon slayer has the advantage of literally just having a name of you photoball under it and just, <laughs> oh like, yeah it's well, it's i mean like, like... <laughs> i mean episode 19 like everyone's gonna be talking about that but i don't know we could probably like do you think whoever you like there's gonna be a hype moment in Hero Academia that's gonna like outdo episode 19 from I, Demon Slayer. I don't know about outdo, but yeah, oh, it's hard to outdo that kind of animation just just because of the animation alone. But overall, I think as far as the story that's built so far for the two series or shows, it's it's already gonna give it to Hero Academy just because it's just yeah fast story. I mean, because the the recap they sh- they showed uh. They showed the United States of Smash scene, which I, which was still really epic. So I'm wondering if something like that's gonna happen this season. 
See, I, I don't remember. Was a uh, was that episode trending on Twitter? I don't time? remember. I don't remember. That was a while ago. Okay. I feel like I it would have definitely. Like I was paying very little attention to what's going on, like, what was going on Twitter. I mean, and I would have never known that episode nineteen of Demon Slayer was trending if it wasn't if I didn't talk to you guys. Um. I don't know. I mean, like Bones in itself is like a, it's like a, like a great animation studio, but I think it's just like something with you foldables that just like, it's just like one step higher. So you think like animation wise that it's like, uh, Demon Slayer is better, but like, like probably like story wise, the Hero Academia would be better. Uh, I would I... say so. Just for me personally, Demon Slayer, it, it, it was just a really sort of straightforward sort of storytelling it's like here's this character here's a little mini like training sort of montage it wasn't like long episodes of his training it was just like one two episodes of his training but like boom you're you're into the action right away and then it tries to get through the season while hero academy you got like entire arcs of training and then an arc for like a tournament or something. yeah that's that's one thing that like i think that's gonna uh, hurt demon slayer it's like the the beginning was kind of slow because they had to spend like four or five episodes getting him into like training. And then I felt like there was like parts like during the middle two where like it was kind of slow. So, but that's. I don't know. But yeah, that we don't have much going on here at Academia since like it just had a recap. So. Um, I don't know. For like the. For characters and stuff, uh, I guess the difference between for me with hero academia and demon slayer is uh hero academia has so many more characters that they've already introduced into the story and has oh, and have actually played pretty big parts which i which i mean i like a lot of those characters when really demon slayer has just talked about i mean what the four main characters nezuko uh tanjiro yeah. Yosuke, well because they they barely so, introduced the uh the hashiras so uh... yeah and it's like already like i don't know like half the hashiras like I just don't care for them. That's, that's, <laughs> like right now, like it's like I mean, I, it's cool when you have like your own little thing that you always have to like. You always end up saying in every single sentence, but it's just like at the same time, it just kind of gets annoying, especially when you don't know who they are. Damn. Yeah, uh, that that one chick that just had to put her two cents on literally everybody is like, all right, you need to calm down. I, or the flamboyant guy. It's like, it's like, dude, like that doesn't even make any sense right there, and you're still trying to fit it in. All right. But that's my thoughts. I mean, I think uh, I don't know if if Demon Slayer like had as many episodes as like Hero Academia, uh, I think it would be it would it would still be tough because I like the story of both of them a lot, uh, and I still do like a lot of the characters from both the shows. Uh, but I think like I mean, both animation series are really like really really up there. It just seems like a Hero Academia is just always gonna be like a top tier show. I think so. I think right. it's more because like more has gotten out there. Uh, yeah. It's built like a. It's built like a. I would say a pretty good fan base. Um, there's a bunch of different characters. It's and it also follows kind of like more of like the traditional shonen shows. Yeah. All right. Uh, does anyone have anything to say about Hero Academia? I'm sure we'll have plenty more next week when we have an actual episode to go off. Yeah. Of. Oh, also that guy on the the recap episode that they kept saying, oh, he's so cute. I, I legit thought he was, like, a cancer patient or something. <laughs> Jesus. Like, I, I don't know, like, even, like, uh, even my even my girlfriend was just like, there's no way to help this guy's cute. <laughs> like, there's something wrong with this guy. And wow. then you start seeing him spread, you know, sprout uh, cameras everywhere. It's like, okay, that makes sense. Radiation poisoning. Got it. Okay, that was, the camera thing was, was not, I didn't think that was cool, cool but okay. Yeah, radiation cameras. <laughs> okay. okay, we're gonna move on to our next series. Uh, so Chogaki no Soma, or otherwise food known wars. as food, food Wars, the fourth plate. Three plebs. This, <laughs> this is the final season, and is it really? I'm pretty sure it is because the manga ended. Yeah, but I don't think they're even that close, though. I think I'm pretty sure this is the final season, but see, Peter, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> you ruined her. You ruined her. I know the manga ended, so but and that's why I'm pretty sure this is the final the final season, but. All right. I'll, I'll 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 wait till next week for corrections. Well, I did not watch this episode, so uh, that is that is all I have to say. Okay, I was when I watched it, like I was confused because like it's been a while since the last season, and like because the last season it like it stopped during like one of like the Chokugeki's, and like so I was just trying to catch up what was going on. 
Yeah. Uh, I, the, the episode started and it instantly kicked things off. I was like, who in the hell are all of these people? <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I thought too. Like, like who I'm are like, like... Who the frick are you people? It's like, <laughs> all right, I guess we're just going to kick straight off into a straight Shogageki. It's like, like I, I don't, guess. I don't remember anyone from like the last, like, Elite 10, and then I don't know who the new ones are, besides, like, what we, who are I introduced to, so it's like... Yeah, I guess like, it's just one of those things where if you if you just go through it, like, in a quick succession, it's easier, but, man, after being on hiatus for, or break for however long the show was on break, then bound to happen. Yeah, like... <laughs> um, okay, so... I'm trying to remember, like, what they were made. I just remember, okay, the first when they were getting straight into the Shokugaki, uh, the second seed, she spread out the alligator meat. I was like, what the hell? I was like, all right, shit. <laughs> just oh, like, cook a whole entire alligator. Cake coma right out. here. Yeah, for real. It's like, Jesus. And then crazy. she just like, like, butchers it like, super clean, like, gets straight to the meat. Like, okay. She's good with a knife, man. That's the crazy need <laughs> to beware about. All right, Tren? Yeah. <laughs> And then like, sure. and then what was it <laughs> the one? The one ingredients was like, was that cayenne pepper? And the other was green tea. And I forgot what the third one was, but like, I just just cayenne pepper and green tea is like, huh, okay. So I just noticed that Chokugeki no Soma is actually JC staff. Like, how are you gonna make food and everything? Like everything in Chokugeki looks so nice. Yet you're gonna ruin my show, Damachi. <laughs> anyway, you want, you want a rant? Go for no, it. Try. No, later on. We'll see, how long, we'll see how long this podcast go. I will not forget this. <laughs> oh. Trent just has a grudge against JC oh stuff. Oh my man. god. Anyway, you guys can continue. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just, it was just really confusing first episode because, like, yeah, there was, like... See, this is what... I, I wish this had a recap episode. This one needed it compared oh, yeah. to My Hero Academia. Like, yeah. yeah, I don't remember any of the characters. And, like... Didn't... They did this once before, too, where they... They kind of ended it on a spot, but then it's just like it took them at least half a year uh, of um, before I think the next season. I think it was during like the autumn festival, yeah. Shogeki. Yeah, because yeah, I remember they stopped at, at, at another dumb point, and then I remember when it picked up, I had no clue what just happened. Yeah, because I think the autumn one, it was like 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 they only did like the third place match and they stopped. Like you think recap episodes would be JC staff's thing? <laughs> Let less effort than what they already put in. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So. Yeah, it was just a straight to the point episode, I guess. It just said, hey, here's a new season. We're just going to kick things just straight off and just go from there. Uh, I remember like, watching uh, uh, the LP. There's like the one part of the LP where it has like, it has like, like Soma and like everyone else like trying to fight against the first and second scene. And they're like, they're angels in the, in the sky. I thought that was a pretty cool. Is there, but, is there like a deeper representation that I'm supposed to understand there, dude? No, it's just other side. Cool, it was cool because like they always do like sh- like they always stress them up as like yeah, showing like, was the, RPG the biggest characters. Hype comes in the intro. I just don't. <laughs> if there's a deeper meaning to it, I actually have no idea. I think they're just doing just because like just because they felt like it. But and then the, the, the thing I, I always have to like the thing about like chokugeki it's like it's so hard to follow the cooking because i because i don't cook and like so i have no idea what they're doing with the cooking and you, mean I, you don't you don't cook alligator tails <laughs> no hey it's alligator meat man oh whatever it ain't just the tail shred I, I knew that guys i watched this episode <laughs> i'm not so behind. like so like i don't know anything about the, the the cooking and also it's like half of the dishes are always like japanese specific so it's like there's all these like Japanese ingredients or like or like Chinese ingredients that I'm not familiar with. That's true. So I like just, when I'm watch when I'm watching this, like I have no idea like what any of this does. I just take yeah. it at face value and be like, I'm pretty sure these guys that are writing the script know what they're talking about. So if I ever need to try this at home, I got a hundred percent, dude. <laughs> I still, I still remember like one of the <laughs> one of the foods like like the secretary chick she was making like 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 a turtle burger i was like that's because i remember like the theme was like a burger but she made like a turtle meat burger it's like hmm. i'm not sure if i want to like if i would qualify that but i'm just waiting for the point in real life where i eat a food and all my clothes just burst <laughs> off my body get that food gasm just the <laughs> most ultimate just food gasm i've ever had. irl food gasm just oh amazing 
All right. Okay. <laughs> I don't think there's much we can talk about, so I guess we'll just move to the next show. Uh, Fire Force. So, or also known as Enen no Shobotai. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes is that, that, that's, what you're gonna be, that name. that's what you guys say every time, Shren. Honestly, I don't know. Like, a lot of the names of, like, anime, I usually use the Japanese name, but it just sounds... It just sounds so much more natural to say Fire Force. Because you don't know, like, what and and no Shobutai is. So. Do you know what it means, David? It means Fire Force. Okay. Oh, what? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Mind blown. Okay, let me let me see you. Let me show you the kanji then. See you, Charlie. It's wrong. That. It's wrong. It's wrong. Let's just move on, okay? Okay. All right. Oh, wait. So let me just make it. I need. I forgot. Are we all caught up to Fire Force? or? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm an episode behind, but yeah, that's fine. I, think I watched I'm like the first five. I think I watched the first five minutes and then I ended up getting, or I was busy, but I I kind of get like what's going on. Yeah. Are you episode behind too, Brian? Yeah. Okay. Um. So I guess I think that thing actually some like some stuff happened during this during this week's, but I think we can wait till next week to address that and like get people really everyone caught up. But how, how about just share like what do we think so far of Fire Force? Like just after oh. after I think episode eleven or whatever. At first, I mean, I, I thought the show just started off uh, solid. I think the animation was like uh, on point. Everything was just really good. Then it kind of hit like a lull. Um, just really unnecessary like fan service. It just kind of like like that's that's, right. mean, that's I, your that's your favorite. <laughs> uh, I mean, I but yeah, but it has to like, it has to like be. I I mean, more natural if fan service can actually be more natural but it's just like it's just it's like they give the excuse where it's like oh this chick is unlucky it's just like okay great <laughs> like why are you here <laughs> go away and then it's just like just constant like just fan service and just kind of like just dumb stuff and then even with like that purple hair that purple hair chick where i mean like that whole that whole like kind of arc thing was just really weird um i mean it's cool like you know it, it, I, I just picture Wait, like, you're talking about, giant... you're talking about hibana I did, yes okay she's yeah. pink haired <laughs> Pink hair? Are yeah, you sure? I'm pretty sure she's a pink haired. Yeah, that pretty the girl with like the the flower fire thing. Yeah. yeah it's pink? She has pink hair, man. Pink. Oh, what the okay. Well, never mind. <laughs> As you can tell. Oh, I the hell is so like purple show. hair. Yeah. It's like Okay. Why did I think she is it because uh, her colored hair like when they were like in the like the dim light in the I think in the church? I'm pretty sure it's pretty pink. Okay. Okay. I, I would go, go back. Go, go on, Sren. But I don't Oh, are you sure? Dude, that looks like that looks yeah. also partially purple. Are, are you color? Is that age getting to you? <laughs> that's be. like light pink. Like that's like almost could white, be. whitish, light pink. Mm, yes. <laughs> um. Okay. Well. Anyway. Um. Just like uh, when they when they talk about the, the, these districts, and um, yeah, I just picture like a, just a giant city. But then, like, I know of, like, the first five episodes I saw of, like, this last season, it's just, like, when they make comments, they're like, oh, this must be the way, like, they, like, uh, the, like, they show, like, respect to the dead. I'm like, aren't you guys, like, part of, like, same city? Just, like, different districts? Like, shouldn't you know this shit? Like, you're all, you're all part of the fire force, yet nobody knows anything about each other. I mean, that's, okay, that's, like, that's how, like, that's how the, 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 the divisions, like, and the conflict is gonna be because they're not unified, like... It, the way I see it, it's, it's basically just like separate companies. Oh, it seems like everybody is like they're, out to get everybody else. They're just yeah. So it's not like they're just like separate companies that just came out of like like neighborhoods, really. Not because like 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 the city made them or anything. Right. Okay, that makes more sense then. And like, yeah, there's like, oh, go ahead, Sred. I was gonna say like for for my thoughts like on the show like the story like i'm still kind of like whatever on it, but like I, it's I I definitely think the show is being carried by the animation at this point. Um, cause like a lot of like, especially like the battle scenes, fight scenes, like they're, they just look so nice. And it's just like a lot of parts of the story. I'm just like, I, I'm not, it's, I'm not really completely in on the show, but I'm definitely going to finish it. All right. Uh, Brian, how about you? Yeah, that's pretty true. Um, I think now I think they're just trying to get more into expanding like their characters. Cause I think the last time I remember is episode 11. They brought in like, that. That, just that badass me, captain. Sure, the badass captain. He, I actually think he's pretty dope. This man Fighting people with a mop. Like mop. Oh, uh, <laughs> ben, Benny Maru Shim, Shimon. That, yeah. that, that guy's probably going to be my favorite he's, character. Uh, the number seven at District Center. No, Company seven captain. Yeah, like, 
introducing characters like those seems pretty dope, just to expand on its characters' initial and stuff. I mean, Watch. so he's far, be, he's so be, good. The bad I guy. instantly noticed that the animation is the same as... What's that show? Soul Eater? Soul Eater. It's the same author, manga author yeah, as Soul Eater. It's pretty similar. It's pretty dope. So far, so good. All right. Um, what well, for me? It's like I really enjoyed like the setting because it's not because it's like cause, okay. When I first started the show, I didn't realize <laughs> I thought it was actual like actually about, like, about actual firefighters, <laughs> you like, like normal firefighter stuff. Ugh. So when I first when I saw you the first episode. So when I saw the first episode and Shinro was like busting fires out of his foot. I was like, Wait, what's what's going on here? <laughs> And then they have the opening of like of like of all like the, of company eight just like fighting all these fire monsters like oh you this know, isn't a regular firefighting like, show you know they would they would show this in the PV if you actually watch the PV sir I don't watch PVs man I just wait oh till, yeah why is that I just wait till they come out so, you wait to find out when it's not an actual firefighter show hey it, it's I, I was presently surprised it's yeah, a good thing it, it made it more interesting for him yeah okay. like, I'm hooked okay. now so I really like I really like the setting because I was just surprised and like and I think it's cool that they're doing like. Firefighting, but with like shonen. Yeah, I do agree cool. that like the the fan service is is annoying. But it's unnecessary. Yeah, it's just really unnecessary because like because there's that there's that one episode where like where like Tamaki just gets like beaten up by the other guy, and then it was actually a really like like a really like sad moment, like a good moment for her, like like character wise. And then the next episode, she's just like like falling all over Shinra. I'm like, oh my god. Yep, and the groping begins again. It's like you just just like just destroy the whole lead immersion. So that that's like my main criticism. I never watched Soul Eater, but I heard from a lot of people who did watch Soul Eater that that show had like a magi- like a bunch of fan service as well. Oh yeah. Okay. It's yeah. So I'm hideous hanging left and right. And just, I was like, all right. <laughs> it's like, all right. Well, this is I'm over here I'm like about. 16 years old watching this on a bus. <laughs> I'm like, I can I be watching this in public or? <laughs> I'm like questioning Damn. whether I should be watching it. I'm like, all right, it's okay. They aired it on TV. You're fine. All right, we're good then. <laughs> I just remember, like, yeah, Sawyer had uh, original ending. Got into it because I would rather read the manga, and I just never did. Oh. I did see like a bunch of clips of like fighting with the scythes, which is cool. But also, I just want to say, good. Um, also, I just want to say too, like the way that. The, the companies are working it's there's this weird like there's this weird thing going on where like a per- so it looks like everything it looks like tokyo was like it was either invaded or it was like it was there was this empire was created out of tokyo because the the district and like for uh the, the company seven captain like theirs is like all traditional japan whereas like everything else is like it's, like super industrialized and like, and they don't like they don't really because it's like the everyone else uses like the church too, like where Iris is from, like they, like they have the church and like whatever their religion for the fire fire force, whereas like like um was it Benny Maru's like his district, they still like rely on like their traditional Japanese like religion. So there's like this weird. I think that's, that's gotta come up later. Where it's like it's like this conflict between like like something like the, like an imperial like empire of like the fire the fire force versus that like how things are done. So it's like like I think you're gonna see you're gonna see like his district rebel against against like everyone else. Gotcha. Because like yeah, it's just this weird. There's just weird like imperial vibe I'm feeling from like. From like the fire force in general, especially when they went to the meeting with um that that grand priest or or pope or whoever it was, I forgot. But uh-huh. like, yeah, he did, like it was definitely like like feeling like imperial vibes. Yeah, I mean, I could easily see that because they're in a way like they've already kind of shown that the districts are already, I mean, obviously fighting each other, so that wouldn't uh, that wouldn't be surprising. Well, it's the companies that are fighting each other. Oh right. Because um, because Hibana's her company. She's she was backed by um the one corporation I forgot, but it's like the for like the experimenting in science part of it. Like, like it's like this major corporation, like industrial corporation that's backing. So okay. 
Um, I, got, I got nothing really left to talk about the show. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, we'll, we'll continue that on next week. When I'm caught up. <laughs> All right. And then so now we have, we're going on the next show, uh, Dr. Stone. And I know Brian's like, he's like three episodes behind. So there's, there is one thing that happened during this week's episode that, like, We're not gonna talk about it till next week. Yeah, that it's pretty. It sounds pretty important, but I mean, I think it's got time to next week's episode anyway. So we'll just wait till then. But overall, again, same thing with Fire Force. What do you guys think of this show so far? It's, uh, first. it's a pretty, pretty different like sort of genre of anime. Like as far as I can remember, like this is the first like big old scientific sort of anime just to come up and like hey here you go get blasted to the past and use science to come back it's like that's that's a pretty I mean, technically cool technically they're in the future it's uh, <laughs> you right but they live in like a bunch of apes so <laughs> but yeah it, it's pretty cool like setting and concept of the anime so i was like pretty cool i'm gonna keep watching all right Sven. <laughs> For, uh, when Doctor Stone first started, like, uh, I mean, I, it, it really started, I was really excited for the the show. I mean, I up to this point, I still think it's really good. But when, um, oh god, what was that guy's name? The, uh, the uh, first Subasa, guy. I think, or Tsukasa, yeah, Tsukasa, something like that. Like when we first see him, I'm thinking. Well, I mean, you immediately know just from watching a bunch of previous Shonen shows, this guy's not going to be good. <laughs> and then um, you find out the guy's plan, and then the the part that I kind of I thought was. <laughs> really shonen like is when they're just kind of doing like those mind games where they're just like oh like oh, or, the the four dimensional chess yeah but it was just it was just terrible it's just like like when they were like going towards uh I, when they first make their they come up with the plan like oh we gotta make like was it like uh weapons of war or something like that and then the guy and then the guy's like hmm, he must be going this way to make weapons of war to fight me i'm like really dude that's your first <laughs> thought that goes through your mind and when the, this guy like he just seems like he's just nothing but just like brute force uh, it's, it's that, that that part i'm just like oh boy but i'm i'm glad they've kind of like steered away from it because uh definitely senku is the one that carries the show like he's by far like my favorite character um even though like chrome and a few other like the other like supporting cast like uh cast is actually starting to rise in my uh in my list um but like the, I don't know like how true like everything is like with the science like the the science it's, part of it. It's, it's exaggerated. So. Is it? Okay, yeah. I assume. But I mean, it's still it's still pretty neat to just kind of like to to see this stuff, and it's definitely different seeing like a shonen show that's not just brute like brute strength, and it's actually just like about like uh science stuff. I don't know. Yeah. Like, up to this point, like I, I definitely think the show is picking up. I'm 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 all in on the show now. Yeah, yeah. I definitely feel the same way. Uh, I really like. Like the the Stolen Village arc, because we're really seeing like Senku like doing his experiments and like he's like, he's going through like step by step, and you see like the chemistry too, which is pretty cool. If you look at the the Reddit threads, you can see a bunch of people like like debunking a lot of the, the things like like the electricity. Like I think it's like the electricity was like it would it would have been that bright. That was like for just like first for the effect, the emotional effect. Yep, that and that, then, and, that scene it, was good. Yeah, and then like and this and like also like when they make glasses, like they say that people are saying how like you know you're like you would not get like a good like a good um clean like cut glass like that, even with like a master like master like craftsman. These ruiners, man, just live in the moment. <laughs> just live in so, the show. For moment. Well, I mean, like I, I think it's still good to just show like like I mean I think it's, if you can have that that hanging suspense of disbelief. But it's pretty. It's it, it's not like it's gotta be exact, but it's. I think it's just it's the idea of like bringing in science is still good. Oh yeah. And then the, the, what was there's something else I gotta say. I'm trying to forget, but like. Also, I like the magician guy. <laughs> that guy's awesome. <laughs> and just like how uh, legit got the fucking shit beat out. Yeah, of the, like that, like the battle that they had, like that Chrome, uh, that Chrome had with them, with the. Uh, where they're just like, oh, you have to stay there for a minute, and I was just thought, like the whole part thing. I was just thought like, this is just this is stupid, but it was hilarious, and I was loving it. Uh, it was awesome. Yeah, yeah. There's something I was gonna say about Doctor Stone. <laughs> now I now I'm, I just forgot. But I blame Brian. Same, <laughs> actually. Um. Also, I think I think yeah, there was something that I don't know, but 
Although I think the shell is still pretty shown in. But yes. it's in jump. Yeah, but yeah, but there's like there's a lot of interesting like elements they're doing. Yeah, the, um, the, the, well, this last episode just I, I uh, think it just finished the arc or just kind of wrapped it up. It's, I think it's gonna wrap um, up next next episode. Next week, you think? Yeah, or I guess this week. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't know, like the battle, like when, it, when you think of a show name show that always has to have like that battle or like that tournament arc. Like this was probably the, the, I don't know this oh. whole tournament arc. It definitely was not uh, what you would expect, like a normal tournament arc. Oh yeah. Where Actually, really, I don't like, know. Besides like, the first fight, there was like nothing else, but, like with like legit fighting. I don't know. Like I can't. I I kind of like. I kind of didn't really enjoy the, this tournament arc just because, like, even though I knew like they were gonna like do other stuff, it just it just felt like it didn't feel like they were using science. It just felt like just using like they're just using just a bunch of like tricks and. In illusions, it's just like just the whole like the whole like movie magic thing, where like I don't know, like it was like less believable than the other science part. I mean, like tournament arcs, it's like I was perfectly okay with this being like two and a half or three episodes long. I can't even remember when it started, but yeah. it hasn't been that long, and I'm. Okay I just with didn't that think that the tournament arc itself was just was good. I just I much rather just like have them focus more on just like like the building and like the experiments, right. But, yeah, I am looking forward to the show. All right. So, I, okay, I don't know. I don't. I can't remember anything. I'm going to say, Doctor Stone. So I'll save it for next week. Okay. All right. So uh, moving on to our you, next. You, uh, go villain saga next. I'll, villain I'll saga. Next yeah. Okay. So, okay, I'm actually behind villain saga, so I can't really like say like what I think about the current episode. So. Same. Uh, Wait, what's the current episode right now? 12, I think it's like 13? 14. 14? Oh, Lord, I'm way behind that. Uh, yeah, it's like 13 or 14. Yeah, because I'm on episode 11, but uh, off the gate, I already knew this show was going to be epic. Its intro is dope. It's badass. <laughs> it gets you hype. I'm like, all right, here we go. Literally, first episode, or like, I'm pretty sure the first few episodes, it was like sort of setting, or no, the, literally the first scene, you get this big dude just destroying people on these bullets. I'm like, yo, oh, yeah. this is my jam. And then you got the, like, one other dude that's like, you know what? I'm here with you. What are we gonna do? They just go in. I'm like, damn. And then you can, like, see the expression on the dude's face. Like, I don't like what I'm doing. And then he just goes away. <laughs> and then cut to modern day. This man has a family living on a farm in the just worst weather I could possibly imagine. Like, sub-zero all the time. It's like, Hey, man, man. Iceland's not that bad. <laughs> y- y'all are crazy. It's, it's just off the bat, I was like, this show is going to be just amazing. Did you know about Vinland Saga for the anime? Like, did you hear about the oh, manga? absolutely not. <laughs> I'm over here, I'm like, hmm, what's, what are the animes coming out for next season? I see the show, I read the synopsis about Vikings and stuff, I'm like, yo, this is my jam. I'm going in. And then I start doing, like, I'm pretty sure you told me, I was like, yeah, it's like one of the most popular mangas. I'm like, oh, it's even better. This, this, this is going to be good as hell. Yeah, yeah. This was I was surprised when I, when I saw on the news that, like that this was getting anime because the manga came out like 2005. So I thought like it was way past like the point of getting an anime, which is which which is really weird. Really, like if you look at the trends, like so many like older shows of getting animes when usually like you don't think they are get animes because it's way too far past. So I was already, I was definitely excited when the anime got announced. Hell yeah! I was like, and, damn. This this is what Berserk should have been, not that <laughs> trash that came out oh, yeah. after like the old school. I'm like, oh, yeah. yo, how are y'all gonna do this? Just this amazing story, just this dirty. I'm like, come on, man, yeah, like, you can't that's, be doing that. That's unfortunate. Just, Plus, because um, Vin and Saga, if people didn't know, this it was it's made by the same studio as Attack on Titan. Yeah. Oh my so. god, that the last season of Attack on Titan's coming up too. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Well, we, the just... thing is, we don't know if it's gonna be the same. If it's gonna be with Studio again. Oh my god, I just hope they don't screw it up because <laughs> I'm ready to just to cream every episode. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Villain Saga is just ten out of ten. Shren, you need to get on it. <laughs> You're like fourteen episodes behind apparently. <laughs> and the thing is too, um, I think was. I think um the the first episode like they kind of switch around like the chapters. I think 
I think the first chapter of the manga is when um they're raiding like the that one French castle where like they the the, the boat was going over the hill where they brought oh. the the boat in then. What the hell? Yeah, I think that was the first chapter in the manga. And then they then after that they flash back to the the beginning part. Mm. Also, um this this is like apparently based on like cuz cuz uh was what's Tor- Tornfin? Thornfin, what her is yeah, the guy's name? So it's based off an actual real um person. Yo. So he really? was like a yeah, he was I don't know if he was a Viking, but he definitely lived in Iceland back in the year like a thousand. Because uh Leif Erikson Leif Erikson's a real person. He was the first person to discover Greenland and I think even like maybe Canada, but definitely Greenland. Yo, that's dope. We even got some history in this, yo. Yeah, because already Leaf, like eleven out of ten show. Leaf, Leaf Erickson's a real person. It's already teaching people new stuff. I never and also, um, through. so and also, uh, you met you met the character Canute, right? King Canute. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. Or or, or Prince Canute, where he's because he in history he's a real person too. Like in because in history he was the one who eventually becomes. King of England after the Vikings um, conquered it. What the hell? Yo, this is just the deepest lore ever, dude. Well, it's real life lore. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> real life. The so, lore ever. so, a bit of history lesson for people who don't know about like Vikings. So, it was like around I think like seven hundred to a thousand is when like the Vikings started conquering. They kept they started raiding, especially England. Like they started raiding England and Germany and like and like Belgium, but like. A lot of stories we hear about the Vikings come from the English, who were getting raided by these Vikings, and and then um, there was I think I think I don't remember if this is the same timeline. I I need to like look this up later for next week so I don't sound so dumb. But like, but basically like there's a point where like like King Harold Bluetooth he was he was the king of like I think Denmark and Norway, and he set off to conquer England and took over London. Yeah, but, okay, I think that's I, I think that's actually a later part in history. But I know King King Canute was a real he was a real like a real Viking who eventually became king of England. Dope. And like I'm pretty sure um the city of York in England that was like that was founded as a Viking town. So that's why also like um you see like there's in the show like the early episodes there's always it's a you see like the Vikings invade like England because that's what happened in actual history. Yeah, and then what a great show. So, but I don't, I don't know if 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 Torfin's of any of his family was real. I know he's a person, but I don't know the actual his, how accurate the historic his historical accuracy is for Torfin. Like, I feel like I think I think definitely like his childhood is probably exaggerated because I don't think there's much records about him. Yeah, but um. Okay. I know. I know. That people haven't watched it for the first. Uh, did you think the first three episodes was kind of slow? Uh. Besides, because after like the the warring part, it's just it's just Thorn fan as a kid, and like. Yeah. I, I feel like I feel like I didn't really pick up till after the third episode when they're getting uh, ambushed. Yeah, I mean, I kind of expect. Uh shows like that like brand new shows like off the gate to start off pretty slow just to get characters developed and just introduce them so you kind of expected that first few episodes and i think it was like episode two where it's like the like the viking army comes to thor the troll which is <laughs> badass dude and after that it starts picking up more and more yeah until the battle yeah. starts hitting because, I mean, like, when it first came out, they had the first three episodes out. So I think for most people, if you started, you, I think after you got into after episode three because it got more exciting. But, like, oh, yeah. I think if you're starting now, you might you might think the first two was kind of slow. But I think I think it definitely picks up. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, we, we, we both definitely recommend this. This is a really good show. Oh, yeah. 100% recommend this. If you like the animation of, like, Attack on Titan and stuff, that this is the this is the next best thing out there dude like it's just so good and like the it's, it's the same studio that made the may attack on titan like it's you can't you can't compare like the like 
um, Thornfane and Aaron, like they're kind of both like like super aggressive, super pissed, like like yeah, like, like teenagers. Not vengeance in their eyes. It's like like Torn yeah, like, like, Torn just has that death stare against um. God, I've had, I've had the guy who kill, kills his dad, but he just has that death stare at him all the time. Ask a lot. Ask a lot, yeah. Damn, dude. It's just so sad. Such a heart-touching story about a man and his father and just exploring just northern England and stuff. <laughs> well, they yeah, they invade northern England, and then they go to, I think, France after that. I don't know, but, dude. I'm terrible with history, but this is making me learn anime, making but, people smarter. But um, yeah. But yeah, ten out of ten show, at least for yeah. me. I I wish I wasn't behind because I'm pretty sure. Like I think I think after episode thirty four, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a big cutoff. I don't actually I don't know. I have a feeling there's like a big cutoff coming up somewhere. Yeah, because I think right now it's just a little past halfway. Where I, because where I was, like they were just introducing the Battle of London. Oh yeah, is it, so I need to ramping up for that. I need to catch up to that. Yeah, yeah, Vinland Saga. Yeah. Also, the LP is good. Oh yeah, I that I get so hyped in the gym by that song. It's actually unreal. I I listen to that like three times before I start lifting. I was like, it's great. Yeah. Because, uh, as I say, OP, uh, it's the same band that did the Banana Fish OP, which is also good, so. No idea what it is, but yeah. <laughs> Alright, and then I know the ending is by Amy but apparently Strand doesn't like that song, so whatever. Strand is a hater, man. He is just a which hater. Song? Which song? <laughs> He's just a hater, Strand. What, what song? The ending for Vinan Saga by Amy Oh yeah, didn't like it. It sounds like a lot of the other songs. Okay, I mean, I love Amy She's... Definitely like my favorite, like uh, you're just a hater Japanese artist, but uh, oh, that, that ending song did sound a lot like other stuff. I'm just too big of a fan, guys. <laughs> you wouldn't, you didn't hear her other song. Biggest songs. critique ever. Okay. Also, one thing I forgot to mention too, people are never saying um, uh, the Fire Force uh band they have an album out that, with the theme song. Apparently, the album is just this as good as like the best. theme song. Yeah, my sister is obsessed with that band now. Uh, Miss, Mrs. Green Apple. I forgot the yeah. name of the album, but like they people on Reddit said the album's really good, so I need to check it out. Yeah, my sister is absolutely obsessed with that band. <laughs> All right, so I think that's it for Vinan Saga. And then are we going to talk about uh, Fate Grand Order next? Yep, I will do my best. Okay. Fate, so, so much crap going on with it. I will try. So let me, let me get <laughs> some background. Let me try to get some background. This is such a complicated topic. It's like... Because Ugh. the fate series itself is so complicated, and like, because there's always people ask. Because I was one of those people to ask, like, I never seen fate. How do I start? It's like, <laughs> True. You, you, I can relate to that so hard. Like, because you, would, I would so. I think if you've never seen fate, I would not recommend watching fate. Game. I would recommend starting with the original fate shows. What do you think, Stren? I would say, that, yeah, I would definitely at least. If you want to become invested into Fate Stay, I would I would start with uh I would say Fate Stay Unlimited Blade Works by Ufotable. You, you think uh, you think so? You don't think that you I mean even I know that people like shit on the old Fate Stay, but like I still think it's important to at least know about Saber's route, even uh, though it, it's, even though it's messed up. Honestly, instead of watching that uh, trash, I would just read the synopsis on uh, <laughs> on that. Because the, animation, they, they, the animation studio that did it, it was an absolute train wreck. I heard... Um, well, I heard from... I, I, uh, I, that is... Yeah, there was a lot of CGI dragons. Yeah, that's all I a remember. Lo- a lot of 2004 CGI <laughs> dragons. It was awful. I remember um, with the studio... With the studio... Um, studio Dean, I'm pretty sure yeah, I think it was. Yeah, it was. Well, the studio, I also heard like the synopsis was... Uh, um, the synopsis um, of the show, it's like they, they took parts from a th- all three routes. Yeah, yeah. They, and they kind of they, mushed it together. They mushed together like the three routes. Yeah, they did. Uh, they mushed all the all the routes together, so it wasn't even a true Saber arc. I mean, so I guess if you really want to get like an idea of like Saber's arc, um, I would just probably read up on it because because uh, that's because that, yeah. that that season def did not do it. Um, but do you think okay if people read about Saber's arc would that spoil uh, on the mid plates work or... uh, that, that, so that that's why I was like it, I, I guess it really depends on what you want to do because okay. I know because uh, Brian you were one of the ones that did not know that uh, 
that Saber was actually King Arthur, right? True. Yeah. At least for one of them. I was so confused. I was like, damn, this chick comes in with a sword. She's called Saber. I'm like, damn, who is she? Because they got, like, Alexander the Great and stuff. I'm like, who is this person? And I'm like, literally four episodes in, it's like, yeah, I'm King Arthur. I'm like, all right, just do a whole sex change on me then. Shit. <laughs> okay, I, okay, let me let me back up. I should probably explain, like, fate to people. Like, just so we can, we're all clear. So, fate, stay night is okay it, it's a it's made by this studio called tight moon it started off as a visual novel slash sex game wait but hold they, on what yep you yeah, didn't it, know it, that? it was a sex no how so, am like, i supposed to know that so in in the in the original game like the way <laughs> like when when the servants ran out of mana they had to do a manner quote unquote mana transfer it's exactly uh, what you think it is yep gonna put it in there so but <laughs> Basically, um, this this the original uh, visual novel came out two thousand three, so so it was quite a while ago. And yeah, skip it, it had it had three arcs. It had I don't know, like the Saber's arc is like the main. I think it's like the main one, and then it had Unlimited Blades work. That's that's Rin's arc, and then uh, Heaven's Field. That's Sakura's arc. Yeah, let me let me just say that the the creator said that. Uh... I'm pretty sure that's that Saber's arc is considered the can yeah that's yeah, Saber's arc is their canon. So, yeah. but so basically, like like Fate Stay Night, like you have you have mages, they're the masters, and then you have servants. They're like these are like the like they're legends from like from folktale or like or real life people. So like King Arthur, Alexander the Great, Hercules, those those legends or legendary people, they become the servants. They're all fighting for. The, the holy grail which I, let me see I, let me see let me know if i'm getting this right strand it's basically like if you get the holy grail you, you get granted a wish it's supposed to like it's also have this uh, all this like great magic power that lets you grant a wish yeah it's supposed to so like something like that yeah so based so you they're fighting in this thing called the the holy grail war where you have seven masters so seven mages they summon seven servants and like, and the servants are divided into different like classes. Like, you have a, a saber type, a caster type, a rider type, or assassin type. Archer, berserker. Yeah, and so like, and you're not, and you're not supposed to like the the types are supposed to hide the servants' like true name, because if you figure out their true name, then you basically figure out their weakness. Even though like most of them, like can t- like when they use like their they have a special power called noble phantasm. That's basically like. But you you can basically tell who they are once having to use that, but yeah, that, that's like how it's supposed to be. But then if you want to watch like Apocrypha and all these other spinoffs, it gets a lot more confusing. Oh my god, See, this, is people, yeah. this is why people like are hesitant to start because yeah, it's I don't know. It's if you want to just watch like the basic Fate Stay, I mean, you'll you'll be fine with just watching Limited Blade Works and then yeah, uh, and yeah then I would rec- definitely Fate recommend. Zero. I definitely recommend Fate Stay. Fate, uh, yeah, Fate Stay, like yeah. Definitely watch Unlimited Blades work because it's ufotable. And like it does I think it does a real good job of adapting um that route for Unlimited Blade work. Yeah, a lot of people said it was good. And then and then after that, um I definitely watch watch at least like yeah, Unlimited Blades work or the original watch one of those Fate Stay before you watch Fate Zero. Because Fate Zero spoils a lot of things that happen in um like the Fate Stay night like routes. Because uh, Fate Zero takes place ten years before that, but like, there's lots of things that happen like, in that gets revealed later in the Fate Stay like series. But Fate Zero is definitely like is def- definitely a must watch. Like I, I I like Fate Zero better than like like than like Fate Stay Night like any of the routes so far. I think so, a lot of people do, yeah. Like it's and like the thing is like Fate Zero, it's much more like darker than the original than the Fate Stay series, like. Um, because it was it was written by um Uroboshi again, like the guy who, like he's the guy who wrote like Madoka, and also Psychopaths. So, like, so there's a lot of, there's a lot of fucked up things that happen in Fate Zero that that's like more fucked up than like oh, that what happens in Fate Stay Night. Yep, I did not watch Psychopaths, uh, <laughs> so uh, or Madoka yeah. Magica, so yeah. I can't so th- comment th- on either one. So those those are like the, basically yeah, I guess the two main like fate fate series there's um the, right now they're doing the the heavens feel as a as a movie trilogy 
So they have the first movie out already, and then first two. They have the first two, yeah. The second yeah, one, yeah. I, I, th- I, don't, I don't think but, it's on like DVD yet. But... Yeah, the second one's coming on DVD. I think November, so pretty soon. Ooh, okay. So the first two are, are so the first two are out or out soon. And then next year, I think is the third movie, which will finish up Heaven's Feel. And then Demon Slayer. <laughs> you keep getting ahead of ourselves, but um, the face day stuff will be done at that point. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's like the main fate stuff. That's like if you want to get into fate, just just go through those like the the fate unlimited blades work and then fate zero. Yeah. Start then, with unlimited blade works. If you don't like unlimited blade works, just stop. That's like <laughs> and, and then and then heaven's field. So that's like the main fate stuff. And then there's there's a whole bunch of spinoffs like Ugh. like the spin-offs. okay they're, they're, I, like fate like, grand order. <laughs> so fate grand order is. A mobile game that's super popular, even though it's grindy as hell, and people spend way too much money on it. I quit before I spent money. There's people, at least in Japan, spend way too much money on this this damn game. And there's also, and before we start taking our order, there's also like, we you definitely need to watch the 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 first order, uh, special. It's like an hour Grand long order. special. Okay, Grand order, you need it. Yeah, it's because like it's it basically is like the prologue because the because <laughs> the thing is too like uh what is it in in first order in fate so this is like the prologue to the mobile game but it basically says like there's these things called seven singularities which is basically like like seven different time periods that you need to go to to um to basically they have to undo like like his like re- like make history correct again. Yeah, so, first order. First order was really like the, the the tutorial, uh, arc of the game. Yeah, um, but it's 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 still really important to like like if you never played oh, yeah. the mobile game like I did, like it's it. I definitely could tell like I can pick up a lot of plot points just watching that first the first order, special. So it's but, definitely a must a must watch before you watch anything Grand Order related. Well, the. The one thing I, I think it's kind of weird with uh with this new uh Babylon. I think it's Babylon, right? Babylonia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Babylonia. Like this arc, it's just like it skipped so many arcs uh, like to get yeah. to this point. Yeah, I was gonna mention that. Cause like okay, so because in, in first order, the the first the prologue is basically the first one, which is like it's basically like uh oh well, we should we also I forgot to mention too that so Grand Order, this takes place in an alternate timeline. That never had was it like it never had any uh, Holy, Holy Grail Wars, oh, or was it just no. well, or was I, it just like was it just the one in Japan never happened? I mean, isn't it they, like aren't they just going back to like through time during like other Holy Grail Wars? Are they? Oh. See, I, I remember like because wasn't like the I I can't remember. <laughs> I know it's a different timeline. So like, so like. When they were the first order, when they go back to Fuyuki, that's that's basically the setting of the original Fate Stay Night. But like, like none of the events of Fate Stay, like it was a different timeline, so it didn't happen in in Fate Grand Order. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a lot of like, just alternate timelines and a bunch of spinoffs. But yeah. uh, yet I still watch everything they come out. This is. I'm only watching fake characters because, like, it feels like the animation, but or it feels like there'd be a cool, uh, cool fight scenes. But yep, I also like Mash a lot. <laughs> I finally understood like what she, what she is. I remember you trying to describe me. Yeah, like I who she, she was like. So, and then there is also an, like an episode zero that kind of like it tells like the story of um Doctor Romani, and like I got a little bit of Mash too. But I don't really think that's I don't I don't think that's it's a must watch. It's just like it's just more character insight into Doctor Romani. Yeah, if you want more, if you want to know more about like the uh, just like the the story or some of the, like the characters, I would say watch it. But it's yeah. not completely necessary. But I yeah. But so also so going back to like there's so there's supposed to be seven singularities. These are like the seven major like arcs of the mobile game. So the pro- first order was like the first singularity, but then like B- Babylonia is supposed to be the seventh one, and so the so the anime skipped all the way to the seventh <laughs> singularity. All the way to the last one. Okay, and here's the thing too, like because they announced a, a a TV series and a movie, 
uh, Camelot. Isn't Camelot supposed to be the sixth singularity? I it was one of those. I'm trying to remember like the they showed it in the first episode of Babylonia, like the the uh, the other singularities, and I th- yeah. think Camelot was was uh was either five or six. I can't. Okay, yeah. It. So so the thing is, yeah. So so like chronologically, like like Camelot takes place before Babylonia, but we're getting the TV series of Babylonia first, and then they're gonna release the movie of Camelot, <laughs> which I don't know. <laughs> This doesn't make any fucking sense. Yeah, it's. I mean, that's that's Fate's Day for you, or Fate. God. I should say not Fate's Day. Fate. I mean, they made like billions of dollars from this mobile game, so I guess they can do whatever. They... Actually, no, no. I take that back. If you made billions of dollars of all the money you made on this mobile game, you should have had enough to animate the whole thing. Like, there's no reason why they had to skip all the way to the last one. So, for some reason, this. Uh... Like online, it's telling me. Oh, never mind. Just kidding. Pass. Okay, so, Sorry. so yeah, it's, that's really weird. Like the way that is, we're skipping all the Babylonia. So yeah, I was just but, trying to find like the like the list of uh, singularities just to see if I can't get just like uh, mention the timeline. So, and then if I find it, I'll mention it. Do Do you know if um did they get any like new skills or like power ups like before Babylonia, like? Oh, right. Okay. The, for for me, like, I have just recently started playing, like, a couple mobile games. Uh, Damachi being my favorite one. I think it's, like, the best one to actually play Okay. Uh, for uh, for being a free player. But anyway, um, I, uh, I'm i really bad with just skipping uh, oh my God. Story, stories in uh, mobile. Just thinking, I'll come back to it later. Or I'll oh. look it up online. And just so I can just keep You're the worst. It through it. I'm, You're the worst, yeah, friend. I'm the worst person for the worst type of gaming in the world. <laughs> All right. And Camelot is the sixth singularity. Okay. And uh, ba- Babylonia is the seventh. So like because so first order, like it was just really basic because like Mass she just learned how to use her noble phantasm. Yep. I, introducing all the characters and stuff, yeah. And then like I think I, I think it was like in the maybe one of the intros of I think well, I, I probably wasn't in this OP or not, where like they showed Mash with this because it started off as this just like this just single wall and now like her noble phantom is like this huge like like fortress <laughs> it's like a, it's basically a castle in itself yeah so like i i like so they, they they went from that jump so it's like it's gonna be hard knowing what's what's up with her abilities and what she can do and stuff what, what yeah. is her her <laughs> servant type anyways is she um uh in the game i know it's considered as like a i think it's just considered a guardian i can't remember what it was because okay. I, I forgot what she's like actually considered um Oh, but I'll I'll try to I'll try to find it. Okay, so oh, for some reason, think shielder, shielder. But, uh, because I okay. don't know. So let's let's get an let's say an actual Babylonia because you watched the first episode, right, Stren? I did. Straight out of the bat, what are you, your thoughts on the animation? I mean, animation looks nice. Uh, I, I actually think it looks really good. Um, the only thing I guess I could say, not not even really the animation studio's fault, but it's just like. Playing games in general, I've always just hated like the sand area the most. And it's <laughs> like they're nothing; they're not in anything but sand now, with just a bunch of lions or whatever they were fighting. I'm thinking, oh Jesus! Well, so I'm in it. it's not gonna be all sand. There's, there's still like, like there's like, gonna be a town and you know, sand Mes- Mes- Mesopotamia is not just all like desert. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's I, not I the Sahara. But immediately, I was just thinking, I'm like, oh God, it's gonna be the sand dark. But uh, <laughs> it's it's not only all sand. Come on. Yeah, but I mean, no. But besides that, like the anime. Well, yeah, the animation's nice. Um, did, I mean, did the CGI yeah. bother you? Uh, I mean, in those situations, I like. I'm I'm just a person who's never really like cared for CGI in uh, an anime. But I would. It it wasn't the worst, but it, I don't think it was. It definitely wasn't the best, but it was something that I was able to get through without having to cringe too much. I remember the first episode; they had random like like cut-ins with like cgi like it was like the wave it was super cgi for some reason and then it cuts to like the beach and then there's like, yeah. one part where like they were they were in the desert and then it cuts to like some bird flying over like the rocks so it was like super cgi and then it cuts back to them i remember that part was kind of weird yeah it's i don't know like so far like the animation i don't know if it it, it in a way like it kind of like it looks like they were trying to follow the style of i don't want to say like ufotable but like the look of it, it it's it just looks it, like a it it does like, remind me of Be Affordable too. Yeah, 
it's like I, I can uh, I kind of just consider like the the animation kind of like a like budget you foldable, which <laughs> I'm just fine with because okay. uh, I actually I don't mind. Clover I mean, if, I mean, it's it's Cloverworks, so yeah. I think people did Persona Five and Ace Attorney. Yeah, so I mean, I sort of I think. Yep, yep. Uh, also, like a uh, Promise Neverland and a bunch of other things as well. Yeah, um, but God, no, I've always so liked this so video. Good. Yep, yep. But uh, yeah. um. And then um the second episode there is like a uh, there's like more fight scenes I think you would enjoy it like well I think I the animation the animation stands out more in that second episode. Well, for next week I will be caught up to everything for. Uh, I'm trying to remember what happened in the first because the first episode um we got introduced to there was like this uh this Ren this, <laughs> yeah it was Ren okay <laughs> is, there, Ren, but is, I there, is there a reason why she looks like Ren I was gonna ask you that why does she look like well, Ren so much I don't want to say anything because I'm. Uh, I think later on it's a spoiler. I mean, the only reason why I know her name is because I actually got her on a free roll. Oh, okay. And uh, in Fake Grand Order, I just kind of just jumped in it just randomly in the game. Spent my spent my uh, I forgot what they're called my whatever my points are in the game currency, and I actually got her in a roll. I was like, oh, I was like, damn, that's pretty cool. Uh, leveled up her for a little bit, and then quit the game again. <laughs> okay, because I remember when I first saw her, like I was like, wait, is this actually Rain? Am I just seeing things? Like I got, like, I had to like kind of rewind to make sure I, it was actually her and then she didn't say her name either so i was like i was trying to see if that was like a hint or something yeah I uh, i'm sorry it's again like i like i was like i i didn't know i wasn't sure it was her like it, it looked like rin at first i thought i was like just seeing things oh. so. uh no it, it definitely looks like rin um i mean it's it's not rin but it's uh, not rin yeah but like uh, is there is there a story reason or is there just um, if there is, I skipped it in Fake Grand Order, so <laughs> okay. I'm sure we will find we will find out about okay. it. Uh, well, but yeah, same voice actress and everything too. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Um, we just trying to think because I think that they didn't really show much from the first episode because they, they they just ended with the the wall with like the, against the deal like beast, and then just cuts off after that. Yeah, yeah, the beasts are definitely a part that they they fight in the mobile games. And then I think I forgot. Is, is this is this twelve episodes or twenty four? I want to say twenty one. Twenty one. Okay, 21. yeah. So yeah. it's it's so it's gonna be longer than twelve. So there's gonna be a lot of things that happen in this arc. I'm like I'm excited for the fights. I, so I, I love Gil- Gilgamesh. He's like always been well, even even though like in the Fate series in general, he's always been a douchebag. Yeah, he's pretty he's, badass. He's, even though he's I'm so cool though. Him. He's like I love his design. Yep, he is awesome. It'd be really cool if this is the same. Uh, I don't think it's the same it's, uh, it's... timeline as uh, as Alexander, which would be awesome. But... What's what's that like? What do you mean, like Ishtar? I think Ishtar. that's his, uh, Alexander the Great, the writer from Fate oh, Zero. Yeah, that's that's much. That's two thousand years later, Shren. Okay, gotcha. We're in we're in twenty six hundred BC. Mm, yes, yes. And Alexander the Great was like he was like three hundred BC. Okay, well, damn. Thanks for like, running like, it, like David. The Greeks, was... Like the Greeks were like three two thousand years after the the Sumerians and the Babylonians. See, when I was seeing all this, and I was like, "Damn!" And I was like, "If Alexander the Great shows up, this is gonna be a great show." Nah, no, 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 <laughs> two thousand years too early, Shred. Oh, you ruiner! Drop. Don't don't now. blame me. Don't blame me. Blame history. Yeah, <laughs> we'll do. <laughs> but I mean, I really don't have much more to say. Uh, I, I I wish I was say I wish I knew more about the uh, the epic of Gilgamesh because. Like, really? You want to know more about him? Yeah, because like I think it's well. Okay, the thing about the fates, like they they exaggerate a lot about their legends. Like, oh, hell yeah. uh, like obviously, you know, Saber being a, being a woman, or King Arthur being a woman. Hey, you don't. And, know then, that. and then Da Vinci also being a woman too. It's like, come on, guys. You guys and your David, waifus. Man, David just being sexist, bro. It's like, what if this whole time, like in history, is just a lie, just a giant like? Oh yeah, created. yeah. Well, okay. The thing is, like we. Like I don't remember if King Arthur is actually a legend or a real person. I Da Vinci actually existed. I know that for sure. He was he was a guy. That is fair. <laughs> like Da Vinci was a real person. I just I don't know about King Arthur. Right. Right. right I, okay. I'm pretty sure, okay. I'm pretty sure he didn't exist. I think, I, think, just, I, think yeah, I think it was just a story. Yeah, I think. But I, Gilgam- I think like Gilgamesh. I'm pretty sure Gilgamesh. Like, well, get yeah, the epic of Gilgamesh is is uh it's a story too. It's a legend. But like I, I I hear I just hear about the epic of Gilgamesh, but I just I don't know like. What it actually, what the story is actually about? Yeah, you never did. You finish Apocrypha, or did you watch it? And I only watched the first two episodes, I think. Oh boy, okay. I remember yeah. like the the main guy. He was in Lord um Mel- Meloy's like 
uh, the guy from Apocrypha. Yeah, he was in there. Yeah, so I was like, I was like, well, what are you doing here? And then I just had to look yeah. up Reddit, and everyone's like, oh yeah, by the way, Apocrypha is a different timeline. That's why he's yeah. in, he's in this one. Yeah, there's a bunch of reference. I don't even say references, but there's a bunch of characters that are in Lord El Malloy that are from uh, Fate Apocrypha. Like Olga Marie. Yeah, yeah, her. Well, she's from Fate Grand Order. She's from Fate Grand Order, yeah. But like, yeah. that's that, uh, that's so weird. That, like, cause I when I, cause I watched Lord El Malloy's last season. That's the only reason why I know her. Cause she, so it was weird how all that ended up. Yeah, there's 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 just too much stuff. Cause like Apocrypha, I remember like that's when you find like uh that I found out that you can actually like uh the servant like with the servants like you can actually summon like gods. I'm just like, come on. This is becoming too much. Oh yeah, because um, because in <laughs> Babylonia they're saying like how this is like when the age of gods ended, or so. yeah. So I'm I'm I know, and, I, I, and I again like yeah, they're, they're talking as, as if like oh hey by the way like demonic beasts existed in ancient history. <laughs> We're going back in that time to where you know yeah. demonic beasts existed. Yeah. So I mean, I'm still gonna watch it because I watch all Fate Stay stuff because I'm just trash like that. I'm just not gonna pay attention to the story like like anything like super lore heavy. I'm just. Not oh yeah, like, I, I, like if it gets too, too heavy, much. like I was like, I don't have time to look this stuff up and this go to Reddit and everything. Much, I'm like, just gonna, I'm just gonna watch it and just turn my brain off. Like I just want to watch like them fight Google Mesh. That's all yeah. I'm here for. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. That's that's all I have to say. If you got anything yeah. else? Uh, uh, the second episode was really good. Like, you're gonna like it because that there was like a cool fight scene. Okay, and good. It, and also, it, it also ends with a cliffhanger. So episode three is gonna be really good. Awesome, awesome. So I think we'll, we'll have a lot to talk about Fate Grand Order next week as well. All right. All right. So moving on, we'll briefly talk about Assassin's Pride because yeah, we both best watched shot. it. Oh my god! Like okay, like I don't right, know. Just... Brian, if you wanna if you wanna pitch to watch a show, list it up. <laughs> Go ahead. I don't know. It's just I think the setting itself is is cool, but there's just like. The execution and just the way they're telling the story is just i'm just not feeling it like it it went like from a cool setting to like something it started it just felt generic yep after a while. Generic, yeah and i really I, I really don't like having like the little girl be the main be a main character uh yeah i, I don't care about that either that's uh like, it's not my thing because now it's, it's just like because i mean i guess this is the first episode but it's like now it's just the the guy has to like be her, her bodyguard, but it's like I don't, they didn't they didn't set up anything like ain't a good like it wasn't anything good to bring me back. It's just like oh, there was it a just felt of... so felt so shallow. Everything felt so shallow. Yeah, I know like the like the brief fight scene that they had. Uh, I actually did like the song that was playing in the background. Um, but then again, like the the music even sounded like like fairly generic as well for See, like a when i saw the title assassin's pride i thought it was gonna be like a, like an organization of assassins i thought it was gonna be like some like factions and stuff it's it just could one be, guy it could be assassins what it's just it's just one guy so far but yeah so far but yeah the, uh, yeah, the whole like, kind of like the execution of the whole thing is just kind of uh and there's just a lot of scenes where they're just like where she's just like uh right not even the girl was just like we're like right before like he's gonna be uh taking her out um she's fighting by she's fighting like a bunch yeah. of jack lantern looking things there she's just yeah. it's like just spewing out everything to like <laughs> oh yeah like she's nobody do like, people oh. on i don't know i got people on reddit kept shit there's there's shit, shit talking her so much for that where like her hair is about to get cut and like oh by the way this is i need to explain about my mom and how important she is before you cut my, my hair. hair yeah that, oh, i just thought like oh god <laughs> um so this is a this is a this is probably like so far, my top show that has like the highest chance of being dropped this season. I, I don't know how long I can continue it. It's like I might keep watching, but it's like it's yeah, it's, it's low priority. Like if I'm if I'm busy and I need to like watch other stuff, I will, and I'll probably just end up dropping. I feel like I feel like I might drop this. Yeah, yeah. I it, this is definitely like the highest uh, the highest chance um, of all my shows of being dropped. Yeah. But. That's all I have to say about the show. All right, that's that's um, all that's all we need. And then, so um, I think those are those are like I think the most like the like the the shows that you guys are all watching. I know I'm watching a couple of things, but I can save it for next week when we have a few other people that. Uh, also, let me I just mention to too, like we are definitely gonna talk about Sword Art, but like we're 
Uh, we're gonna wait till we're next behind. week for, for people to get caught up. Yeah, so, Brian's, I, I Brian's behind by like twenty years. Sorry, that's okay, dude. Failed it, all of my people that I don't know. <laughs> it, it's yeah. So we'll, we'll, like, so I watched. I did watch the first episode of Sword Art, but I'll wait till a bit more people are caught up. So we'll just we'll skip uh, Sword Art for now. Brian will be uh, all caught up by next season. I mean, he doesn't have. We, we, we can even delay that another week because, like, I like, like I I don't mind waiting for more people to get caught up to Sword Art for we talk about it. Right, is it that I'm good okay. though? It's. Uh, I mean, I from like the recent stuff with Sword Art, I do think it's, I do think it's a lot better. Um, it's not, it's not like top tier. I'll say yeah, that. But yeah, like, it's the, the, so, the like, way it's, so oh like, I don't want to get your hopes too high, Brian. Like, it's still, it's enjoyable, but it's, it's definitely not top tier. <laughs> like, is it really as nice good though? as the OG, like very beginning of Sword Art, or is it no. like the Elf? I think it's better. Um, you, you think so? I think it's like as oh, good, at least as oh, good. Yeah. It's way better than the Alf arc. Well, t- I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like the okay. old, like the first twelve episodes. Okay. Um, the first season. I don't. Well, I was. I. I always like. I, I've always been a huge fan of like Dot Hack and just like kind of like that, like those type of shows. So like I, I was like, oh damn, yes, another game death, or uh, it was a death game. Um, and then they just kind of had twelve episodes of it, and then it went to fairies and shit. And then right. I was like, well, okay, that was a. I, I think okay. I'll say I think it's as good as like the the first twelve episodes. Yeah, the, the animation though is definitely like top notch. Like the the, the fight episodes, scenes are good too. Yeah, yeah. that's that, that's I can definitely say that too. Yeah. Yeah, like, like just like how the animation is done, like it reminded me of like a uh, movie, like movie quality animation. Mm. All right, I'll try like, to get it does, caught up. Like, yeah, like, it looks nice. Like, and I'm. I'm definitely interested in the story, just like where they are, like uh, just like certain things about it. I'm just thinking, or like I kind of get like those cringe moments here and there. I'm like, oh god. And then I, and then <laughs> oh, I wait, on. Like 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 that one part. Oh my god, I think it was like uh, they, it, had, they, it, they had the warning. They had the warning at the beginning. You talking about that episode? Which warning? Where okay. there's like this this may contain like scenes that are considered disturbing or whatever. Oh, that. No, well, no, that is just like dude, the. the the, the creators just gotta get past like that stuff. It's just like, dude, like, God. is there no other way you like other way to like <laughs> to do it? I don't know. Like, give motivation for people, huh? Is that really the only way you think people move? Uh, it's I don't know. There's just gotta be other ways, and just, the guys just okay. gotta chill. Like, I don't know. Wait, so Bart, wait, you haven't seen any of it, right? Of. I oh, literally have not edition. seen any of Ali Cization, Ali, okay. whatever it's called. Ali Cization, yeah, yeah. Uh, close enough. Okay. Um, Ali Cization, yeah. Okay. But yeah, that's, so yeah, if you do catch up, well, by next I'll say definitely like the, the the last full episodes are are really good. It's, they're yeah. very solid. Yep. The it's like the like the first like twelve. There's a lot of just kind of slow arcs. So first, real first. quick, yeah. um, for Ali Cization, God that word is hard yep like the very first episode does it give you any sort of recap or is it better to like find a synopsis of gun gale actually oh, they, i'm fine i remember what happens in gun gale they don't Which, gun gale is not really relevant yeah they yeah th- this has nothing to do with gun gale and it, mean, really, it has the, nothing to do with mother's rosario yeah wait it's its own thing again yeah wait what so they're doing know. they're doing it's a different a whole game again new game yeah i mean do like the characteristics of like the characters of what they've gone through in other games stay with them at least? Or... I mean, are you, are you kidding they... me? This is Sarda. They focus on nobody but Kirito. How dare right, you? Fair enough. How dare dude. you have character build up? <laughs> fair enough. There's one part where they kind of reference like like the first like see like first Sword Art season, but it's very brief. Mm. Yeah. It's like I, basically, basically like how like he still has PTSD from like Sword Art Online, but. Yeah, so just just brief. just go into it. You'll be you'll be very confused though because it immediately throws you into the like this other like game universe and you're like, what the hell just happened? And then you just have to you just have to keep watching it. And then it makes sense. Huh? But yeah, so we'll save for sort for later. Yeah. All right, and then so that's that's all the ones we plan on having like that we all kind of like watch together. So the next ones are just gonna be like, I guess I'll go first, like saying like just. Review like what I've seen that I guess these two haven't seen yet. So I'm gonna start with No Gun Life. Um, just briefly, like I I like the first episode. I thought Sren was just a hater because the guy has a gun for a head. Come on, <laughs> Sren. 
but it's so it takes place and i kind of want to say like cyberpunk slash steampunk where it's like where basically the reason why the guy has a gun for a head is because like you can like they're called extended where you basically you extend part of your body of like something else so he just he, that's why he replaces his head of a gun i guess it's supposed to make him stronger somehow but like other people like they replace their, their arms or legs of like with other stuff and the first episode like it kind of like introduces you to its world and it kind of and then halfway through it, it it there's like this central plot point that they're introducing and it, like i'm trying to think and like it and it's ending it kind of ends like on a cliffhanger so like so they did, nothing mu- much really happened in the first episode besides like setting up for episode two basically but it got it gave you a nice like summary of like the world and then it, it's like setting it up nicely for like the main conflict so I think it's really good. I would definitely recommend people who are like into like action and people having guns for heads. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, so that's that's all I'm going to say for no gun life and then uh I watched the uh, Ascension of a Bookworm. So this is this is another isekai because I know how much we all love isekais. Oh, David. So this one's this time it's like this so it's this this girl like she, they don't even. They just focus on how she reincarnate. She gets like transported. She gets reincarnated technically, or she, her, her. She dies and she, her memory, her consciousness goes into this other little girl who's already alive. So she basically just takes over this other girl's body. What's the title of this one, David? I'm gonna look uh, it up. Ascension of a bookworm, or ascendance of a bookworm. So, basically, like, th- but this girl, she's just obsessed with like reading. But she's transported in a world where like her family's poor and like they don't have a uh, printing press, so reading so books are super expensive and only like rich people can afford books. Yeah, man, you're on your own. And also like like <laughs> yeah. her family, like her dad can't even like read or write. So she's like trying. So the first the the first two episodes basically just her like trying to find ways to like either read or like make her own books. So all, so far she just learned to just like she's she. She's trying to make paper on her own right now, so she can start, and she's starting to learn how to read and write. So I, I remember like seeing um the light novel like be- like was around before the anime got announced, and like it's it's very more it's much more a slice of life. Like there's like no fighting at all, like other isekais, you no know, like no like OP like powers. So it's I'm just like watching it just for the slice of life elements. Like it's the first episode's definitely slow, like. I think even yeah, episode two, it's like it's kind of slow. This is a very it started it's starting out very slow so far, but people on writers like people who read the light novel are saying like like it picks up later and people seem to enjoy it just for the slice of life element. So I'm just gonna keep watching it for now, just as more of like a slice of life like isekai. Nice. So, I will pass. <laughs> <laughs> so. I'm already watching Isekai this season. Listen, man. So, okay, I'm well, not that's... trying to watch an anime about reading because I'm already reading the subtitles. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So that's that's that for Ascendance of a Bookworm. I'll probably be the only one watching it. And then next, you will be. and then next is Blade of the Immortal. This 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 is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Um, pretty cool show. It's it's you know it's samurai samurai set back in the Edo period. Very like, I guess I would say like bloody slash gory, but like they didn't really have much fights in this. They see like the anime come out in like two thousand eight. Yeah, so wow. this, apparently this is a remake. Uh, they gotta do they're doing a remake, and, uh, and I think they said they got uh try to adapt the whole manga this time because uh-huh. I think the two thousand eight one it was only twelve episodes, and then this one it's I think going up to twenty four. But like people on Reddit were saying like. They're, the way they're adapting it is kind of slow right now, so it just it feels like it's gonna get rushed later on. So that's that's my biggest worry that like that like the, that stuff is gonna get cut out so fast. Mm. But so far, like like uh, the first episodes are pretty good. Like where basically like like the main character he's he's like immoral. So like if if you cut him up, if you cut him up, he like he if you cut his leg, he can't like he still it still pains he still feels pain and like he. Has to like try to you know move around with one leg, but like he just has to like just put like put the leg like 
to bring the leg back, and then like it'll start reattaching itself. Hmm. And then besides that, he's a super badass like samurai. And he's he's traveling with this girl who like who lost, lost her parents to like this like group of swordsmen. So she's like out for revenge, and she you know she asks him for help. So the first episode just it's kind of like setting up like the main plot, and like there wasn't really that much fighting going on. Like there's like it was like here and there, but like the fight scenes they're not very like elaborate or very like, coordinated. It's just it's very it's very brief. So like. I would say like this one's kind of starting a little slow. Not slow, but it's like, 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 like the premise is good, and like if you watched the first episode, you, you you hooked right away. But like, there's not any huge like fight scenes yet, so I'm just that's what I'm looking forward to for Blades of the Mortal. And then so that's so that's I'm what I'll say about. I will not be watching. <laughs> okay, that's all I really have to say for that. And then so next, this is just. All like I have a list of like shows that like I I kind of plan on watching or like interested in, but oh, actually, before I do that, um, Strand, do you do you want to talk about your your wrestling? Well, there there's a few shows that I I think I'll, I'll wait till next week just so because uh, I, I do know or um I know Peter and Ku are I I'm pretty sure are watching these ones. Wait, Peter's watching it too. Uh, um, I he's got her. It's wrestling. Come on. <laughs> that, what makes like, you think? What makes you think Peter's interested in wrestling? I, I think it's more like he just watches mm, most of the stuff. I, I, I also think he watches like a lot of these like, guy stuff that he just doesn't tell us. I mean, just because he wrestled in high school doesn't mean he has to watch. Oh, I mean, it's not quite. Thing. It's not quite that. But I, I mean, I know like uh, I'm watching the wrestler one, the Kimono no Michi Rise Up, and then mm-hmm. Ozur Lane. I don't know. I don't. Oh, I'm also watching Radiant second season. Uh, oh, still Peter said he was gonna watch that. Is he? Okay, I'll, I can yeah. talk to him about that next weekend then. Yeah. Okay, so you want you want me until next week for you talk about your wrestling isekai? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so that'll be um, on hold. Um. Okay. So here's like a list. There's like sort of like a different shows. Um. There's so there's this show called um, Hokaku Psychoro Club, which is basically translated as like after school dice club. It's like basically it's like the cute girl series was like it's a bunch of girls who are playing board games it's a club about playing board games after school and i kind of want to watch just to watch the board games that they're playing do we know like how in-depth the board games they go into i i'm not sure i, I have to like watch the first episodes see what it is but i want to see know. them play monopoly and just lose their just lose their minds i want to see a full 24 episodes of them playing the exact same monopoly <laughs> I'm not gonna watch that. Dude, you don't want to go to the mind games into that, where they basically like they just go into their heads, and then you see like uh, you see history flashbacks, where it's just like last <laughs> week of their previous game. Man, that's... Dude, that sounds like the best show ever. What? Oh my God. Yeah, I mean, I think I'll probably I'm I'm just I'll I'm interested just just because of the board games, just because like I'm interested in just board games, so we'll see. Um, there's okay, there's. The other show that I know, I know we, we were talking about or about uh, was it Ore Suki? Are you the only one who loves me? I know Stren's watching that, uh, so but I already read the manga, so I, I feel like I can't really say much. Runer, runer. Hey, I read the manga before it was announced as an anime, so I, not my fault. I think I can make like, a couple comments on it. I think um, I think who is watching it, but I don't remember, and I don't know if Peter is. But uh, Brian, I would re- I would highly recommend this one. Like it's like the first episode was just hilarious. I think what makes it um, like even even funnier is that uh, the main guy plays uh, Deku's voice, and it's just hilarious. It's hilarious. Like the, it's the main guy has like a like a Jekyll and Hyde personality where he's really nice, but then also has just an just an asshole personality personality. And it's just it's just hilarious when like the, like there's this chick talking, and then all of a sudden he ch- he just switches to his like a his hide, um, his hide like personality in his head, and he's just he's just so bitch, just he's just like shut up, bitch, and then <laughs> just like how he's saying it, it's like they have Deku chill. <laughs> Listen, man, the last time you bought my slice of life, they never finished it. So which uh but they, so it's not really slice of life. This is more this is more like comedy, like, Listen, rom, man, like but rom, we've, rom, but rom, we've like already got confirmation never. though. The final season's coming. <laughs> like. How long? Like four, four or five years. Almost five after. years later. Uh, probably, probably by the time it comes out, it'll be a five years. 
<laughs> oh my god. So, hey, but you know, a lot of shows don't get that final season. True. Yeah. I mean, I'll probably, I'll, I'll probably just like watch and up watching this episode. So maybe I could just talk with you about what happened. But yeah, that was a terrible I, description by me. But I have to like be careful about spoilers, so that's why. Like, I mean, yeah, because <laughs> what what happened the first season, the first episode? I I could probably make it uh, some well, based on. Uh, first episode was like because uh, he you 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 uh, get introduced to his childhood friend, which I forgot her name. And then uh, I think the because school... he had, he, has, he has a best friend too, right? He has a child like a like a friend who's a girl, and then a, a best friend as well. Um, if they if if it is a best friend, maybe they haven't shown her yet because like I thought no, this no, was a, like, a guy oh, best friend doesn't have a oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. It's a guy best friend. Um, and then she then he has a childhood friend uh, that's a girl, and then I think the other main girl is a uh, I think she's, she's like a librarian, a... isn't she? Uh, well, she, you find out about her later on, but the other one's like a school. It's, I think she's like the school. Uh, I don't know if she's like the. Oh, the other the other girl. Okay, yeah. I, is she class president? I don't remember, but I know she's she's the other girl. Yeah. So like, yeah, but, so so it's basically like the main character. You have his guy best friend, his 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 girl childhood friend, and then um this other girl. I think she is either the class rep rep or the class or I, I think she's a class rep. I think so too. Yeah, so she's yeah, she's the class rep. It, and then it, it, it's like it's basically about how like uh they uh, they both like uh go to like some sort of location and then they they it, it, where it seems like they're about to confess to him and then they basically just confess that they like his his best friend. His best friend. Okay, yeah. So <laughs> so so basically, like like this, the main character he's what he was like he what he, I'm trying to think like. He's trying to get like what his harem dream, right? Like he's he he thinks he's like the he's like a protagonist in a harem like manga. Well, I don't know about the harem, but I know like his plan was like once they both like actually uh, confess uh, about liking his best friend, his whole plan is like, oh, I'll help them both, and then one of them's gonna need a boyfriend. Oh, okay. <laughs> like that's like that's the current state of that. Okay, okay, that, yeah. That part. But uh, so but yeah, yeah so, ba- so basically, he's like he's using all his friends. He's like he's he's like. He's basically like he he's trying like when um when he finds out like that like the class rep or like his his childhood friend like his best friend like he's basically gonna, like like whatever doesn't end up with his best friend's gonna like try to go for the other one. Yep, and then um and then the other girl is like the librarian that actually librarian. like like yeah th- like she hates his like nice part of him but but she loves the like just the terrible part of him. So. Does she know about um his about uh his plan or the? Yeah, or... she knows everything. She's, she knows uh, everything. Okay, she's class A stalker. So so that's so that's like the that's the, the basically the plot is like she's like because she's trying to um so he's he's gonna try to do his 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 asshole plan and she's basically gonna like and he's worried about the librarian because she knows about everything. So that's that's like that's the main premise. Yep. Yeah, he's going along with her plan of like all this other stuff and meeting up with her in the library and stuff because uh so she doesn't tell the others about uh everything. And I think she was also like uh when she when she was talking about that, I think it's also like uh, other things that we don't know yet as a viewer. So yeah, that's like man, there there wasn't like a good way to like to summarize that, but Yeah. Like, it's... That's basically that's basically like it's like it's. I, I I'm trying to watch what I say because I don't want to spoil anything. But we can just keep it there. I think that yeah. I think that sounds like a good stopping yeah. point with Orisuke. Like, but I'll say this: it's like it's not it's not like a must watch or top tier or anything. It's just like nah. It's like if you just want some sort of like harm, not even harm, but just harm. some sort just, of like rom com trash. Go yeah. for it. Yeah. Like me. Yeah, so it's like it's just it's just like if you're gonna watch this, just don't think too much about it. Just just enjoy the ride. Yeah. So that's what I'll say about that show. Um, I was what was it there's so there's there's other isekais also airing. So, um, the one I was kind of interested in is the the high school prodigies. This is like high school prodigies have it easy even in other world. This I've heard I've just I've seen like the light novel or the web novel. But like I never read it, so I'm kind of interested to see what the anime is about. I might watch it, but if I don't have time and I 
like I probably won't end up getting to it. Brian, any other shows that you uh, have been looking at that you might start up this season? This season? No. I'm pretty much as basic as you get with shows, dude. Just the just shonen. Okay. Yeah. And then oh there's a so there's another isekai called Kacha's Hero. That's I saw nice. a clip of it on Reddit. It was actually pretty funny, so I might go watch, but we'll see. Yeah, even I think I my, I, my I wrestling. Go ahead. I was gonna say, I was say, even though I don't really like expect much from it, like just that one clip. I don't know. It was it was kind of funny. So we'll we'll see. But again, it just depends like what I prioritize. Yeah, my uh, my one isekai show I'm watching is the rest. And I think I'll, I think I'll keep it at that. Oh, uh, and then um, so there's just a show called B Stars. I might watch that. Hmm. We'll see. I mean, I heard the manga is really good, but man, I don't know if you've seen like how the anime. Yeah, I've I seen the pictures. Of, I, oh. I've seen the cover art. Oh, it's tough. <laughs> of all like, the animals. Like, uh, did you see like everything is in CGI? Oh, is it? I didn't see that part. Mm, yep, everything is yeah. in CGI. Yeah, if you watch the PV, you will think twice of watching that show. All right, well, we'll see. Yep. And then uh, um, a, a lot of people were, were nervous going into it because a bunch of people said the manga is really good, but then they saw that they're like, "Ooh." <laughs> All right. Um. So there's, uh, let's see. There's a tennis show called um, Hoshiai no Sora or Stars Align. Apparently, this is made by the director of Escaflone. So there's a tennis show. What? Yeah. It's mm, like the, about these middle, about these middle school boys. Ooh, middle school. Never mind. <laughs> But I mean, I'm only interested just because like it's the director of Escaflone, so we'll see. I don't know if I'm gonna like keep up with it or not. Um, there's there's another show called Kabuki Show Sherlock, which is basically like just like a sort of detective show. But I guess they use a lot of like Sherlock references. And Kabuki Show is like it's like the red light district in Tokyo. So. He won't um, be uh, as Robert Downey. <laughs> No, it won't, but um, I don't know. I'm kind of interested in that, so we'll see if I end up watching it. And then um, I don't know if I'm going to watch Azure Lane or not. It's just like, there's too much going on right now. So, it's just another anime that's based off a mobile yeah. game. Usually those do not do very well. Yeah, like, For me, like if, it, if it was like any other season where I didn't have much to watch, I would consider it, but I think just because like, there's too much going on right now, I might just skip that. And like, I was like, and like, yeah, I was. Uh, I know we're playing a mobile game, and like, I I think there's a PS4 game coming out, but I don't think I'm gonna play it. But For Azure Lane, I, I I'm not. Sure. I don't remember if there's a PS4 game or not. I can't. I can't see. It. I can't see it being that good. Actually, yeah. I mean, a, a bunch of those anime based games. Because um, I was gonna say, Grand Blue Fantasy is also season two is out, and like, I I want to catch up to because I I'm only like halfway through the first season, and I just like never caught up. But I'm really interested in the PS4. Grand Blue Fantasy game. Uh, yeah, that'd be too. That that game actually looks pretty good. Looks- I, have you? Um, do you know if the second season for, um, Grand Blue Fantasy is done by a different animation studio? I don't know. What? Why? What was? Do you know where the first season was done by? I don't know, but I just remember watching the PV for the second, thinking that this was a different studio. Uh, I just remember like the first season. Like I just like people. That was generic, but like I don't know, it just it just reminds me of like just old school JRPGs. Like it just it felt nostalgic to me. Cause like cause, I mean, cause the the mobile game was made by a bunch of like like old Squaresoft employees. So uh-huh. like I I really like just because it's just because like I I'm interested in the PS4 game. I I can't I want to get into into anime, but I think I think the PS4 game may have a different story than the the anime. So I'm not sure. But at least I can recognize the characters. So. Yeah, it's um, I don't know. Like I, I enjoyed it because like the I don't normally watch anything that has that type of like animation or that look, and I thought it actually looked really cool. It reminded me of like I didn't I don't think the animation looked that bad. No, I liked it. Um, yeah. it like the artwork or the animation uh, reminded me a lot of like Final Fantasy fourteen ish type of <laughs> uh, type of like artwork look. Really? And okay. I, I don't know, just like how it, it's kind of done, like the characters and uh, I don't know. It just I don't know, it just reminds me of like a '90s JRPG, like everything about it. Yeah, that that is true as well. I like there's a part like they like they take a 
airship, and like this is so Final Fantasy right now. Yeah. So. Guys, so we, we'll, we should also so watch. Go ahead. We'll we'll see if I catch up to that. Um, I don't I don't I was I don't think I'm gonna watch Fantasy Star Online too. I was just thinking about watching it, just get ready for it when it comes out in the spring. But I think I'm just gonna skip. Because <sighs> yeah. I was never like I was never attached to the story because I never played the original either, and so. If anything, I probably would. I would just wait till like later, like the winter, or when it's like a slow. This is a slow anime season. If I'm gonna watch, or I, I can even just yeah, not even just watch the anime, just play the game itself. Yeah. And then, I think there was what other show? I'm trying to think if there's like anything that I that I miss. Um, if, any, I mean, if anything's missing, we could always uh, talk about it next next week as well. I'm, I yeah. think this this, uh, this uh, session is getting pretty long. <laughs> it is it went long, way long than I thought it'd be. And yeah. Especially with just three people too. Yeah, so I mean, it'll we'll definitely have to like uh, for like next week's is um, kind of time like time ourselves with like specific like uh, yeah anim- animes and parts and stuff. I think so. I think because like this is just like even because this is like the pilot. The pilot. We're we're trying. Like we spent a lot of time talking about Fate because we, I was trying to like, like yeah. summarize like the whole Fate series. Even though we should just talk about just Grand Order. Yeah, because we. I guess we could just kind of assume that most of the, the the listeners will probably have already known about Fate. What today. listeners? Yep. Yeah, yeah, hey, man. God, Jesus, David. Man, man if you made it this far, I feel bad for you. I can't believe you listened to uh, an hour and a half of this shit. You know what? Don't, don't Instead of guy. being negative, negative ass, thank you for making it this far, <laughs> yes. man. Holy thank you for listening to this. Jesus, this is just a bunch of people feel ba- just feel bad for you guys. on about anime, man. Uh. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, it's it's people that had like a long yeah. drive and they just needed some sort of like just background noise. <laughs> Actually, <though. laughs> yeah. Hey, or workout. Oh um, hell no! If anybody yeah. uses this for a workout, you're actually insane. Yeah, you're doing. Yeah, you're doing it wrong. You, you're actually not. Just <laughs> Yo, you don't. You people don't listen out. to rock podcasts while you work out. Hell no. I prefer All music. Right. All right. That's and um, I guess we'll just end it here. Um. This is so. This is mainly gonna be what. I'm, we'll we'll clean stuff up for later episodes. Me like try like like have actual like sections or like like transition things better. Definitely this, have it shorter for this as well. for this one. I'm yeah. I'm planning just have like just like a weekly discussion type because as you see, it went all right. It went this long, yeah. just three people, and we're planning and to we have were, more. We were worried that it wasn't gonna be enough. You were wor- <laughs> you, no, you were worried. I knew yeah. it was gonna be a, at least an hour. Yeah, I, I was I was worried. So you, I was right. <laughs> God. Okay. So like, so um, I was I'm thinking like, like if we want to talk about like like themes or other just like topics of anime, like even when we want to talk about like shonens or like or like rom coms or like you know who's like our favorite main character, what's our favorite power or like stuff like that. Like that's like I I would say that for like a different that'd be like a different podcast that I would do. It'd be separate from this. This is maybe strictly uh, stick to like just weekly discussions, and then maybe, maybe after like a season, they'll maybe start like a second podcast to just like do like something like once a month or something about like just different topics. And well, just, like, I feel like one. I feel like for this one too. Um, actually, I'll I'll talk about it after the podcast. Okay, so but we're gonna end it right here. Um, thanks, <laughs> thanks for listening. If anyone ever did listen to this. Yes, if anybody Thanks, actually girls. manages to find this in the depths of the internet, holy, you are a trooper. All right, thank I you. Feel bad for you. All right, all right, we're head out. Until uh, next time, see you. Thanks for everything. Bye. I love you. <laughs>